Let's jump into things. Let's talk some movies. Movies, movies, movies. So, Brendan, I would say this is his top five movie, top three, maybe top two movies of all time. Uh, you, pro- you probably are right with top two. <laughs> top two. Top two. One of his top two movies of all time. Unbreakable. Now, if you didn't Definitely see this one, this, this came out, what, back in like 2000, 2001, somewhere around there, maybe even a little bit yeah, earlier was, than that. It was, yeah, early 2000s. Um, maybe I late think, late nineties. I don't know. Uh, no, I would say probably two thousand one or two thousand two. It was uh, the year a year or two after um, Sixth Sense came out. Okay, so some somewhere around the early two thousands, but Unbreakable came out, and that was such a great movie. Now this is when M Night Shyamalan was on his upward trajectory. He had just finished, like Brendan said, The Sixth Sense, and blew everybody's mind. And then he comes back with, I believe, Unbreakable was his first movie after, if not the yeah, little it was town th- movie. No, Which, uh, Unbreakable was the the very next movie that he made. The very next one. And mm-hmm. in I'm going to spoil it, sorry. Spoiler alert, 16 years later, um, 17 years later. But spo- it ended up being a really, really cool twist. And this is what M. Night Shyamalan was kind of building up for himself, you know, being known for these really crazy twists. So at the end of the movie, you kind of figure out, oh, this is really a superhero origin story. Like, this is amazing. This guy is a superhero. And just the way he unfolded it, you didn't realize what he was going to be until the very end. And just, well, the, I don't know if that's the case. It's not even, that wasn't the twist of the movie. You know, that he was going to be a superhero. Yeah. yeah. That is a superhero. They say that like almost a meet, they say in the first like 15, 20 yeah, minutes they, that they think that he is his kid is like oh you might be a superhero or yeah. something like and that. so does the yeah, other main they don't, character. They, yeah but that's just a kid being a kid but they don't really let you no. know that okay this is real he has yeah. powers until kind of towards the end when he touches somebody and then can see what they're about to do i mean that's in the last it is in the last half hour that no no actually no they they show that early on right right I, I, what was the last time you saw this movie still all right, that like, I, do you want to know what the ago. actual twist of the movie was? Because that was the core of the movie. All right, so the twist of the movie, I know what you're getting at, is that Mr. Glass is actually a bad guy, and he's looking for his superhero counterpart yeah. being yeah, Bruce the, Willis. The, the twist so, is that he calls Bruce all Willis these is bad a superhero. Guys. That is part of the twist. And so I just proved myself right. Point Brian. Yes. But <laughs> M. Night Shyamalan has recently confirmed via Twitter that we will be getting a Unbreakable 2, which will be called Glass, and that he's also going to be intertwining one of his other movies that he very recently did and has done ex- excellently for him, uh, which is Split. So if you haven't seen Split, which I have and Brendan has, and we need to go out and watch it immediately. Yeah. But Split is about a guy who has multiple personalities, and he one of his personalities abducts and kills women. So yeah. that's kind of what Split is about. And, and now, I'll, I'll tell you, too, it's it's weird that this is all coming up because I only heard about split yesterday. I don't know why I didn't even hear about it before, but I didn't even know M night Shyamalan had a new movie. I didn't no. know that split was there. Uh, and if split I had, I would have already watched it. I, I want to say they made the movie split for $9 million and it's already made like 300 million. So it has been doing crazy. And this is kind of why we're getting the confirmations now that we will be getting um, unbreakable two. Yeah, I think that they were glass. waiting for it. Uh, now that yeah, they've he, seen another success from him recently, they're they're probably mm-hmm. saying like, "Hey, okay, here's your green Let's light. Have your money." And so, and you even saw it in Split. They did. This is a little spoiler. Sorry, Brendan. Close your ears. Take out your headphones. I already Take heard. Out. Okay, David Dunn, which is Bruce Willis's character from Unbreakable, does pop up in this movie, and that's how you know it's all part of the same universe. So they will be taking this forward, and. Kind of interested in what we're going to see. Now, M. Night Shyamalan, again, is known for his twists, his surprise endings. He did it in Signs, in Six Ends, The Village, all of these movies. Uh, I want to say he did it in Lady in the Water, but everybody hated that movie. I never saw it, so but whatever. Uh, but this is making me interested in what we're going to see. So there is confirmation that Bruce Willis will be coming back. I do believe I heard as well that Samuel L. Jackson will be coming out to play Mr. Glass, which would be amazing. It really wouldn't be the same without him. Well, especially then we're going to get the title is going to be glass. It's clearly yeah. about Mr. Glass, yeah. but they could try. It's a long time since the movie, you know, the first movie, they could switch characters and, and not be too crazy. Yeah. But then we also have James McAvoy will be repul- pro, uh, reprising his role from split as that split personality serial killer. And they're going to kind of be mashing them all together. And so it looks like they've given us two amazing origin stories, not only for Glass and Unbreakable, and you got David Dunn's origin story, but you also just got Split's origin story. And these aren't like your typical comic book origin stories. You almost don't 
don't feel like that's what it is, mm-hmm. but it is, you know, it, it, it's, it's, it's really, it's a really cool way, different twist on the whole superhero genre yeah. that we haven't seen. I don't, I wouldn't yeah, say. It's funny. We call it a different twist uh, because he's mentioned that too, that it is a different kind of superhero movie. It's mm-hmm. almost not like the superhero movies we're used to because it came out before the, the big influx. Of superhero yeah, I mean, movies. it was really kind of all and ahead of the wave. Yeah, and it wasn't like based off of an existing super comic book hero that was was known. It was one. Even though they did throw him in comic movie. book panels at the end of the movie. What? They threw him into comic book panels at the end of the movie. Yeah. Okay, but I'm saying that it wasn't based off of one that I know. I know. I was just, I was just, I was just adding something. Okay. okay. Sorry, <laughs> Brendan. I won't add anything to anything you say ever. But, again. but I think that the only other uh, superhero movies we had before that were oh. Blade, um, Batman. The the earlier nineties and earlier Batman movies. And well, I mean, there's Superman been horrible movies. ones too. Like there was a nineties Captain America movie, which you don't want to see. Yeah. Trust me. Either way, movie. this is bef- this was just slightly before the big boom of superhero movies yeah. with Spider Man. Before Spider Man came out, yeah. When Spider Man hit the scene, then we started seeing things change. And it was uh, a but- different take. It was not an over the top mm-hmm. superhero movie. It was meant to be. Could this really happen in our? universe is this how things could be set up it was meant to like try and toe that line like because they weren't yeah. sure about him having powers even oh that's why it was a twist at the end <laughs> but, but also they explain it as it's not at a super exaggerated level of yeah. powers one way or the other yeah he's not lifting up like jumping over buildings or anything like that you know yeah. or throwing cars around he's not going crazy and mr glass his superpower was that he had really glass bones and he was he was the genius. opposite of a superpower that, that was yeah. a thing like which was also the cool thing was yeah he was the opposite they that's what he was looking for he was looking for his exact opposite that's what and glass that's how they doing. yeah and that's how they developed the the characters very interestingly mm-hmm. which is what i loved about the movie not even so much the twist ending but how they they use those characters and develop mm-hmm. the parallels of those characters which was it was really cool to see, and then so we're gonna get a, a mashup. So we're gonna get James McAvoy and Samuel L. Jackson. I would imagine teaming up against Bruce Willis's David Dunn character. So I, I'm just interested to see how this is this will be going. Now, from the title, it being called Glass, I imagine these the main villain will be Mr. Glass. Like I think that's what it should be. They kind of set him up to be the Lex Luthor to you know Superman, Bruce Willis's you know David Dunn, but. It's going to be interesting to see the way they're doing this. You're almost given a rogues gallery now, which is is, is a really cool thing that you don't see outside of comic books. Um, mm-hmm. And it's, it's really, it's just all shaping up to be really cool. Now, there is an official release date. Brendan probably doesn't know this one. And that is January 18th, 2019. Also, oh, a little so further than away. I was ex- hoping. Act, you know what? A little further than I was expecting, but that's perhaps hopeful that they're they're doing a good job with this movie and also probably indicates that really they they didn't have the green light to do any production stuff until uh split until did split six, yeah. did so big yeah so it is i i'm super curious to see this movie and we'll be talking about it more i'm sure as we get more details as we get closer to this uh, release but i know brennan's yeah top two movies for him unbreakable so and I've, talk I've been it expecting today. this because it's supposed – they were saying that this was supposed to be a trilogy since mm. soon after and then just schedule conflicts so, or whatever. They didn't do it. So a split part two really and then Glass will be part three? Yeah, and and I wonder if they'll, they'll pull in uh, – supposedly there was another movie that Shyamalan made uh, that had like little bits of stories that they mm. incorporated the original plot to the sequel to and – he had said at some point, like, well, if we ever do Unbreakable 2, we'll have to figure out a new plot because I already used it. <laughs> I, already, I already reused it. Sorry, guys. But I but, but I don't know. But I'm wondering if maybe he'll also incorporate whatever happened in that movie, which is another one I haven't seen and haven't heard much about. But um, M. Night kind of he M. Night Shyamalan kind of fell off a cliff after uh, The Village. So well, what can you do? But this is this is his way back up. So I don't know. Hit us up. Let us know. Were you are you excited to see Glass uh, Unbreakable 2, a.k.a. Unbreakable 2? Or do you think it's too long after the first movie has been made and said and done? to go back and revisit this universe. Obviously not, because Split did it well. But hey, hit us up, let us know. Comments down below. Of course, at What's My Face on Twitter, Google Plus on Facebook. Always good ways of getting a hold of us.